Good evening, YouTube friends, and I don't know what time it will be in your uh, country when you watch this video. And this evening, what we're going to do is we're going to make an organic fertilizer out of fruits. So we have here the bananas and apple and also papaya. Uh, we call this one fermented fruit juice or FFJ. And we have also molasses and other materials, knife that we're going to cut the, we use to cut the fruits. And of course, we have the scale. We have to measure equally the fruits. Like for example, 200, 200 grams for bananas, the same with apple and papaya. And of course, uh, the total weight of this uh, three fruits will be equivalent to our molasses. So, uh, fermented fruit juice is responsible for uh, flowering the plants and of course uh, for bearing uh, fruits and also to strengthen the fruits as well. And it's really needed in the plants. And going out buying some synthetic or chemicals outside, it's not safe for any human beings do it so we decided to have this actually I have some references from YouTube as well so I'll try my own and we will see uh, what could be the result and we have here where we can uh, store our fermented fruits for a month so we're going to put some label here uh, so that we can easily identify when it is uh, being fermented and it needs at least a month or a month and a half for more effectivity of the fertilizers and with that uh, YouTube friends uh, we're going to begin the cuttings or the chopping of our fruits and of course make sure all your materials should be clean as well and our audience for tonight's demonstration we have Diga a family dog so he's watching us because it's raining outside uh, lately and some thunderstorm and lightning He's afraid of all those, so he come inside early yeah, and then he will be joining with us in our demonstration here, okay? So we're going to scale our apples here. That's 400 grams, YouTube friends. So the weight of the banana fruit should be 400 grams as well. So we will chop or slice this one later on. So we're going to have a look for a banana here. And it's also 400 grams. And if you want to mix with uh, watermelon or papaya or any kind of fruits, YouTube friends, that has seeds, you have to remove all the seeds first. You, you should not include that one in your fermentation. So, just a little bit heavier, but almost. So, uh, we almost uh, estimated 100%. 400 grams of papaya. So now we're ready for cutting. Since we don't have um, other space uh, for our apple cutting, so we have to uh, put the other fruits in our container.
So now you're two friends. Um, are three kinds of fruits here all in all. The weight is one, uh, 400 grams times three. So we have 1,200 grams. And our molasses here, it's uh, 1,400 grams. But the actual content here is 1.3. So 1,300 grams. So there should be 100 grams left to this molasses. So we'll just mix this one directly. And the last thing that we're going to do, YouTube friends, before we put the lid on top and close it tightly and hide into the dark and dry and cool place. So we have to mix uh, thoroughly uh, the molasses and the chopped fruits that we have here. We have to put this uh, lid on top of the container tightly. Close it tight. And then put this in a dry, cool place. Be like a month or one, one month and a half. And this fermented uh, fruit juice will be ready uh, for our plants as fertilizer. So YouTube friends, uh, as you can see here, fermented fruit juice and it is being made August 2, 2020. And this will be ready uh, after a month by September 2 or 3. Good morning YouTube friends and as you can see here this is the result of our fermented fruit juice that we fermented based on the date we have here August 2, 2020. Uh, we have papaya, apple and banana mixed together 400 grams each and all in all it's 1200 grams with the equivalent amount of molasses that we mix for more than a month since today is Sunday, September 6. So last September 2, this becomes one month in our fermentation. And now it's our time to filter this uh, fruit, uh, fermented fruit juice into this container so that our concoction will be ready for uh, our garden. And we have these pit bottles where we can store uh, these more than two liters of uh, concoction uh, fermented fruit juice. And we have gloves here so that our concoction will not be contaminated. So we have to use this one. So again, it's a friends. Uh, we have placed gloves in our hands already. Be sure that your filter is clean and dry and also the container is dry and clean. Of course, your pit battles are also uh, clean so that, to avoid contamination of your concoction. So, uh, without further ado, we'll check and we'll see what's inside, how those fruits with molasses are broken down into pieces as they fermented for. Oh, smells good. Smells good. Can you smell that one? Smells good. <laughs> and that's it. Our fermented fruit juice, YouTube friends. Actually, uh, fermented fruit juice is in charge for the flower and the fruit production. Okay? So, the that is the function of uh, fermented fruit juice to our plants for flowers and fruit production. So you 
YouTube friends, we just finished after the intricacies that we have lately. And now, as you can see, this is pure liquid. Yeah. Okay, we might drop on the floor. <laughs> and from here, from this container, we're going to transfer our concoction here for storing for a period of time because we will not use these all in just one application so as long as we have vegetable uh, plants that needs to be fertilized for flower and fruit production then this is the thing that we need okay so then our finished product and that is ready for uh, for our plants and my experimentation because this is my first time YouTube friends the ratio will be 1 is to 10 uh, like for example 100 ml of this concoction of our fermented fruit juice for 1000 ml of water so 1 is to 10 and then the mix water with uh, 100 ml of this concoction will be ready for applying to plants and um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will have more after this episode so stay tuned and hit the notification bell and please choose all instead of none or personalized so that you will get notified to all our uh, latest videos see ya